अन्यों फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो एज़ यू ऑल नो दैट तुक बुक की इज इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट तुक सो आई जस्ट मेड द रेसिपी फॉर यू गाइज सो द रेसिपी इज़ वेरी सिंपल ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज टेक हाफ कप ऑफ वाटर बॉइल इट एड सम सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट एंड देन एड वन कप ऑफ राइस फ्लाह यू कैन यूज एनी टाइप ऑफ राइस फ्लाह विच इज़ अवेलेबल एट योर नियर बाई स्टोर और यू कैन इवन ग्राइंड राइस एंड मेक इट इन टू अ फ्लार एंड यूज इट Always remember that for every half cup of water you have to add 1 cup of rice flour. Once you add the rice flour to the boiling water, you have to mix it well so that it doesn't form lumps. After that, you have to cover it with the lid and allow it to cool down. So the purpose of this is that it has to get cooked with its own heat. You have to allow the rice flour to cool down completely otherwise it might burn your hands so once the rice flour is cooled down you have to get it on to a plate or a bowl so that you can knead it to knead it you have to take some amount of oil you can take any type of oil even vegetable oil is fine and here you have to start kneading it this process will take a bit long and don't worry if your flour gets a bit soft or flowy you can take the rice flour and add some more of salt if you want or oil so that it kneads into a nice dough so the flour should have nice doughy texture and it should be able to form shapes so as you can see just like this After that you have to add some oil on the surface where you are going to roll your dough. You can take a small size lump of flour and then start kneading it. You have to roll the dough into small cylindrical shape. The dough can be too thin or it can be a little fat also, but I avoid it making fat because then what happens is the gravy doesn't get absorbed in the dough and you might get a very raw taste into your dough. So you have to roll it just like this. So as you can see, I made two to three cylindrical shapes together so that I can cut my dough into. small pieces for the measurements you can use your fingers you can make each top as per your finger size make sure you apply some oil on your knife otherwise while cutting the top might stick to it so your i didn't uh, apply oil to my knife and as you can see the shapes are very uneven So once you have cut all the dough nicely, it is very important to know how to store it because flour usually gets spoiled if you keep it out for a longer time or keep it in the normal refrigerator. So you have to put it into a airtight container and then store it in the freezer. The main purpose of storing into the freezer is so that it gets freezed well and doesn't get spoiled at all. taken a small container and then added all my dough into it so whenever you want to use this dough to make tteokbokki or any other recipe you can keep it out for some time or you can also put the frozen dough into warm water or directly put it in your gravy it works the same I made tteokbokki using this dough only and it turned out really amazing. I hope you guys have watched my tteokbokki recipe. And also if you guys try making tteokbokki, do let me know how it turned out. And as you know now, you don't have to worry about finding tteok around you. You as you can make it just at your home. If you want me to try making more Korean recipes using Indian ingredients, do leave a comment on my video. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye.